spite of seeing that a rapper from Migos died, I just wanted to go ahead and make a video about something I have a unique experience in. So I directed a bunch of rappers, people like Gucci Mane, Snoop Dogg, you know, uh, Lil Yachty, the list goes on and on and on, okay? I learned a lot of things, um, and I have left the industry um, largely over my political beliefs, but there is something I want to impart to people to hopefully, you know, make some sort of change happen. So I have a challenge to rappers, and I know some of you still follow me. I know a bunch of the celebrity blogs still follow me from trying to get news from music videos and things like that. So here's the truth. The truth is this. A bunch of young black male rappers keep dying. You know who's not dying? record executives, the record executives that push for them to continue to make songs and create a culture that is obsessed with death, drugs, and sex, period. The industry is obsessed with it, but those record executives, they're not dying because they don't push this culture on their own people, but they're encouraging you to push it on yours, and they're paying you handsomely to do it. The reality is I know a lot of you. A lot of you are good people. You're family guys. You're not the image that you put out there to the world. Why? Why don't you be the example? Stand up. I challenge you. Be the example. Make music about the culture you want to see. Don't just get online today and talk about how, you know, whenever a rapper makes it, his own people take him down. Don't just make those videos. Don't be sad. Don't rest in peace. None of that stuff. Be the change you want to see. Inspire it in your community. Reach out to other rappers and say, we have to stop. We're being used. You've been used for a long time, you know. They create this paradigm to make you believe that you're so important and your celebrity status is worth so much, but in truth, you're a pawn in their game and you always have been. The government has wanted to hold down communities of people in different ways through different methods for a very long time. Their method in the black community has been to use entertainment to create a culture obsessed with death, drugs, sex, and money so that they could create a false paradigm of what happiness and what success really was. And in doing so, they created a world that also made people more dependent on government, and as a result, gave themselves more power. The record executives that push you to do this, to go and continue to profit off the backs of your work, they're in cahoots with the elite. They're in cahoots with the government. They want you to think you're important, but in truth, you're just doing their dirty work for them. So stop. They've empowered you in ways that are real. You have an audience. You have platforms. You have the ability to make change. So go against the grain together. They're more afraid of you all together standing up and creating a new culture that's built around family, faith, freedom, doing the right thing, valuing life than they are of anything else. So I challenge you. Use your power to do the right things. If you continue to do the same thing you've done, more rappers like this are going to die. How many have to die before you change the culture? And let me tell you something else. There's a reason the record labels pay us more to do rap videos. They don't tell you that, do they? Do they tell you that they pay us more to do your videos? Because they do. They do it because they know it's more dangerous. They do it because they know it's more difficult, and they do it because, frankly, there's a lot of money laundering involved. Those labels wash a bunch of money through. We don't do it, but we know the labels are doing it 100%. Okay, they're then taking the money off the top end, and you see on your royalty check, oh, they spent 150000 on this video. Did they? Because we didn't see 150000 Okay, so where did the money go? And to who? Their friend's company? A lot of times that's the case. Same thing with insurance companies. They charge us more to insure your videos. And it's because they know the culture that's been created. They know that the only possibility of a music video being shot up is on a rap video. And that's the truth. So change the culture. You have the power. Your Shalom. Kahalayla Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Rekwakadash. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son, and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel 
throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles A great millstone. Coming back at you on another lesson, love not the world. So what the elite have done, who is they, by the way? He kept saying they. Amalek, the small hats. Amalek understands the prophecies to a certain degree. So what they did was fabricate or create a man-made black culture. Black, which is a culture shrouded in Baal worship, idolatry, sexual immorality, witchcraft, orgies. So they created this rebellious culture and called it black because they understand once the Israelites repent and return unto the Lord, it's over for their kingdom. Who is the Bible talking about when it says, Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. Amalek controls the media. The small hats. CNN. CBS. MSNBC. Fox News. Look it up. So they created a culture and a system of rebellion shrouded in Baal worship. What is Baal worship? Let's go here. Baal worshipers today by the Washington Monthly. I'm going to get to the key points. Let's go down. Ritualistic Baal worship in summary looked a little like this. Adults would gather around the altar of Baal. Infants would then be burned alive as a sacrifice offering to the deity amid screams and the stench of charred human flesh. Then the women and men would engage in bisexual orgies. Why do you think rappers like Lil Wayne gets paid a $20 million contract? So they're pushing the immorality on a targeted audience, the Israelites. Why? Because the covenant was made with Israel, no other nation. So as long as the Israelites stay in perpetual sin, then the Israelites stay at the bottom. Men and women alike would engage in bisexual orgies. Little Nas X. There's a video of him giving Satan a lap dance and then kissing Satan. Look it up. Matter of fact, let's do this. Nas X. Here we go. See? Giving them a lap dance. Look at this. This is Baal worship. Esau Edom hid this type of abominable practices in the black culture and using rappers and rap music as a vehicle to push a culture of death. 
I mean, look at this. This is utter madness. And then Satan is behind Nas X in a sexual provocative posture. Let's go back to the article. So now you know why these rappers are perishing. This truth is going out daily. So there's no excuse anymore for sexual immorality. Men and women alike would engage in bisexual orgies. The ritual of convenience was intended to produce economic prosperity by prompting Baal to bring rain for the fertility of Mother Earth. See? So they were, <coughs> excuse me, they were able to cunningly creep in a Baal worship into black culture, which is a man-made phenomenon. <clears throat> Let's go here first. Let's go to Tobit 1, verse 4. And when I was in my own country, in the land of Israel, being but young, all the tribe of Nathali, my father fell from the house of Jerusalem, which was chosen out of all the tribes of Israel, that all the tribes should sacrifice there, where the temple of the habitation of the Most High was consecrated and built for all ages. Now all the tribes which together revolted and the house of my father, Neptali, sacrifice unto the heifer Baal. There you go. So don't think for a moment that the devil does not study the scriptures. In history, how did the Israelites fall? What was the point of failure? Don't think for a moment this man does not have the records and studies history. Let's read this again. Tobit 1, verse 5. Now all the tribes which together revolted in the house of my father, Naphtali, sacrificed unto the heifer Baal. There you go. So why not inculcate Baal worship into the manly created black culture created by the small hats? Inculcate means to infuse or incorporate. Let's go here. No, before we do that, let's go to Jeremiah 5 and 23. But this people have a revolting and rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. So this is a perpetual system of death. And what? Rebellion against the Most High. Jeremiah 5, verse 23. But this people have a revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. Neither say they in their heart. Let us now fear the Lord, our God, that giveth rain, both the former and the latter. In his season, he reserveth unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. So what does our worship do? Replace the Most High. See, look at this. P. 
pagan idolatry. Where is that at again about the rain? I read it. I want to go right to it. See right here. Prompting Baal to bring rain for fertility of Mother Earth. Paganistic idolatry following after the ways of the heathen nations. Neither say they in their heart, let us now fear the Lord, our power that giveth rain, both the former and the latter. In his season, he reserveth unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholden good things from you. That's why we're sick and dying. Starting with the perpetrators, the rappers. What is iniquity? Transgressing of the law. The covenant which was only made with the nation of Israel. Isaiah 31, verse 6, Turn ye unto him from whom the children of Israel have deeply revolted. See, the whole Bible is the so-called Negro Native American Latino history book. The rise, fall, and re-emergence of of a nation of people, the Israelites. This is Native American history. This is black history. This is the so-called Negro legacy, Latino. This is our book. Let's go from there. We're going to go to Jeremiah 35. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 35, verse 15. I have sent also unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them, saying, Return ye now every man from his evil way and amend your doings, and go not after other gods, to serve them, and ye shall dwell in the land which I have given to you and to your fathers, but ye have not inclined your ear, nor hearkened unto me. Let's look at that word well. The prophets are teaching daily, so we are either being marked for salvation and deliverance or marked for death and destruction. Dwell. Comes from the Hebrew. Strong's H 3427. Yashav. Yashav. To dwell, remain, to settle. To marry. So this is being brought back into the covenant to remain, sit, or abide. Being reinstated and brought back to the Holy Land. So the covenant is made with the nation of Israel only. <coughs> Jeremiah 35. Verse 15, I have sent also unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them, saying, Return ye now every man from his evil way, and amend your doings, and go not after other gods to serve them, and ye shall dwell in the land 
which I have given to you and to your fathers. But ye have not inclined your ear, nor hearken unto me. Israel is rebellious, hard-headed, stiff-necked. Jeremiah 4, verse 1. If thou will return, O Israel, saith the Lord, return unto me. And if thou will put away thine abominations out of my sight, then shalt thou not remove. So the Lord is going to make the Israelites a permanent fixture as the leader and the government over the new world. A permanent fixture. And thou shall swear the Lord liveth in truth and judgment and in righteousness and the nations shall bless themselves in him and in him shall they glory. For thus saith the Lord to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, break up your fallow ground and sow not among thorns. So we ought to be sowing wisdom, truth amongst those that are ripe or meet for repentance, building a kingdom of the elect that have the same mindset, those that are like-minded, grounded in this doctrine. Let's go here. Isaiah 55 or 6. This is why a lot of these rappers are dropping dead, especially when the prophets are sounding the alarm and blowing the trumpet daily. Teaching and preaching. The book of Isaiah, chapter 55 or 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. The prophets are near. Every day, a daily video epistle goes out. Every week, street teachings are occurring. So there is no excuse, no cloak for our iniquities. Isaiah 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the righteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. So this is talking about Israelites that are going to repent, return unto the Lord. So this is talking about the transgressors amongst the hopeful elect of the house of Israel. Let the wicked forsake his way and the righteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon. Forgive our sins. So the covenant is made with Israel. Israel must repent, but only an elect is going to do that in these last days. A remnant. Let's close out here. First John 2, verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. This is the black culture. 
the world, which leads to death. Over 460 rappers have perished over the last 24 months. So the elect world of Israel is repenting in these last days, returning unto the Lord. 1 John 2, verse 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. <coughs> so this is why the little hats, the small hats, the tic-tac hats are pushing a culture of death, rebellion, sexual immorality, fornication, adultery, murder. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation, world without end. So eternal life, rulership, dominion over the kingdom to come resides in the elect, the anointed ones, built on the chief cornerstone, which is our Lord and Savior, the Word made flesh. So old world is passing away under the old man's sleazy E, which are ruling in these last days. Amalek, And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. Little children, it is the last time, as ye have heard, that Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. This is talking about the congregation of the synagogue of Satan, the small hats, followed by the rebels of Israelites, joined unto him. Now there's an election that's going to repent. We read that in Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6 and 7. An elect of Israel are going to repent. Join unto the synagogue of Satan, the wicked. So there are many antichrists. That's the church of Satan. The doctrines of this world that have been fabricated by the small hats, Edomites. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kwakadash, Barak Thumb. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Choose life, coming back to this word, and turn away from the path of death, the ways of this world. Palm Yasharala. Palm Yasharala. And the Bad Baba. We got next, Lord Willem. Shalom.